I'm driving. This is just the time when I can do this kind of stuff. Um, this is gonna be like a little bit of a different video and I wanna start off by saying a couple things. One, by no means is my husband a slacker, um, is lazy, um, uh, doesn't like to get things done. By no means is he any of those. Uh, my husband is one of the most you know, hardworking men I know, um, and he does a lot for us, his family. Um, but with that being said, I, um, you know, over the years have taken a look at myself and realized I am a task-oriented person. Um, I like to create to-do lists and I like to check them off and I like to get them done. That is the type of personality I have. My husband likes to get things done, but his, his way of doing things is kind of just, you know, not, not in any rush. He, he does not like to be rushed. He does not like to, um, not be bothered, but like, he likes to get things done at his own pace and at his own time and when he feels he should do that that thing um and it's it has nothing against me i have learned it's nothing against me even though he knows the type of person i am that is not going to change the way he does things and you know what that's okay i've had to learn that that's okay because i'm not gonna lie in the beginning of our marriage i would get frustrated because I would look at him and say, you know how I am. Why aren't you just doing it this way or, um, doing, you know, this, 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 this. Um, and he would just go like, that's just not how I do it or whatever. And it would get, I would get very frustrated because I like to get things done. And like, so for example, uh, when my husband's working outside, he likes to turn the music on he likes to just kind of mosey around uh, and let's say he has like three projects he needs to get done he'll kind of work on this project and then like not complete it but like then work on this and then work on that and then like eventually come back work his way back to that maybe a week later and then finally get it done like that's my husband and and I've had to learn that like that's not wrong the way he's doing it is not wrong even though <laughs> In my mind, I want to start something, complete it, check it off, and then move to the next item or thing to do or whatever. And so throughout our marriage, through trial and error, I have had to learn that's not the way he works. And just because I like something done a certain way doesn't mean he should have to do it that way. Um, now, with that being said, I have learned how to get my husband, I hate to say this because I don't want to say like, it's like, I feel like it sounds like manipulative, but if, if you, if you take a step back, it's, we're all on the same team, you know, we're all just trying to get certain things done for the house or for whatever, for us. And I just have learned a different way to go about it. Right. And I just want to share that because I feel like, again, I've learned this through trial and error um, because again, I'm a task oriented person. So for me, it's like, there's no way, like I still need to get the stuff done, but if I change my approach, then okay, I'll do whatever it takes. Again, task oriented. I just want to get the task done. Um, <clears throat> so with my husband, I've just kind of uh, observed how he reacts to certain things, how he reacts to certain ways I ask things to get done. And I've learned a couple tips and tricks. And I've, I've found that it's not, my husband's not the only guy like this. It's, it kind of is a lot of, of men, not all men, um, but a lot of men are like this. So I figured, what the heck, let me put a video out and hopefully it'll help one person. Oh geez, that car went off the road. Uh oh. Um, so, tip number one, give them a notice. Meaning, I suggest a week prior. Uh, my husband gets very annoyed at me at absolutely everything. I mean, even down to, hey, we're going out to dinner on this day. I will tell him two weeks before, 
then a week before, and then a couple days before, and then the day of. So he has, because oftentimes he'll go, I don't remember. Well, okay. I mean, and rightfully so. I'm the one that writes everything down. So I don't expect him to remember, but at least if I give him ample warning or ample time to digest that we're going out this night or like we're doing this, he's totally fine with it. If I spring it on him the day before or something like that, he goes, ah, because my husband's a homebody. Again, this is just something I've observed. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And you kind of have to work um, you kind of have to work them up to it. And that's just how he functions. That's how he works. And again, I've learned this through trial and error. Um, the way I can get things done, I can, because I'm a people person. I love a full calendar. I love to do lots of things. Um, even if I'm tired, you know, like I love to, I love social gatherings. I'm like a, I just, I have a social bucket and it needs to get filled. Uh, my husband on the other hand does not. He is perfectly content with coming home every day, you know, hanging out with just us and maybe seeing, you know, he loves family. So he loves to see family, but in his perfect world, everyone would just come to our house and then like stay as long as they want and then leave whenever they want. And then he wouldn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> and again, nothing wrong with that. Um, that's just how he works. And in fact, as a husband, although I have a social bucket, I prefer my spouse to be like that anyways because um, I go do what I want, meaning like I have lots of like friends gatherings, um, get togethers, all that kind of stuff. I go get to do what I want, but then also come home and have that homebody experience because my husband likes to be home. So I kind of get the best of both worlds. And at first it used to bother me um, because I would want my husband to come out with me, but we have just adapted and I kind of love it because the times I get to go out in the sense of like, um, going and having a girl's night or something like that. I get my time and then I get to come home and have our time. And we have worked it out that like that's just worked best for us. Through trial and error, you can figure this out with your spouse. Um, it, it's, but you have to just be very aware of and, and, and observant of how your spouse, spouse reacts to things, how he likes things to be, and then just make it happen with both of the way guys like things. I hope that makes sense. I think I'm getting off track, but, um, with that being said, where was I going with this? See, I just, I get these like ideas of like things that I'm like, Oh my gosh, I need to, I finally figured this out. And so I need to share with someone. So hopefully it'll help someone else. Um, okay. So giving your husband warning, right? So this is the exact, just as I do this with plans, um, just as I do this with like get togethers, gatherings, going out, whatever, um, I do the same thing with to-do lists and I create my to-do list. I cannot, my, okay. I used to, how about this? I used to, when my husband would get home, I would say, Hey, how are you doing? You know, whatever. And then, um, he would sit down and say, I would, you know, kind of like say, okay, we need to do this, 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 this. And he's like, whoa, I just got home from working 12 hours, like back off kind of thing. And I, I didn't know how to get him to get things done. The things that I cannot do. Now, first off, let me start with this. I would get a to-do list. I would create a to-do list and I would figure out on this to-do list. Okay. What can I do? Like, what is this something that I'm asking my husband to do that I can do? Um, you know, like clean, do something outside. Like, can I do it? If I can do it, let me just get it done because not that I'm saying my husband wouldn't do it, but he probably wouldn't do it in my time frame. And that's not his problem. That's mine because I'm the one who has the time frame, right? So let me do the things that I can get done. There are a couple things like right now, our fire alarms, there's two fire or smoke alarms in our house that need to be changed. The batteries. We have very high ceilings. I cannot do it. I am a very clumsy person. We have the ladder, but I promise you that I would fall. Like that's just me. Um, it's just like, that is me. My husband would get very mad at me if he saw me trying to get the big ladder out and get
get up there uh, because he knows as well that I will fall. So that's something I cannot do um, that he needs to get done today because every morning I have been waking up to the alarm of the battery being low and I press the, I have to get a big stick that changes light bulbs and like press the button to pause, whatever. Um, so create your to-do list, figure out what you can do, what he can do and only he can do. Then create another to-do list of all the things you need him to do that obviously only he can get done. From there, give him ample warning, saying, starting at the beginning of the week, hey babe, I need you on Sunday. I need you to do a couple things that I need to get done. I really, really would like for you to get them done. Or can you do, or can you give me a couple hours on Sunday? Um, so make sure that they don't have anything planned that they didn't have anything in mind because again my husband wouldn't have like plans like to go out but in his mind he may have said oh on Sunday I'm gonna work on um, trees or the lawn or something like that and so if I wait till Sunday and say hey can you do this well he may already have plans in his mind that he just didn't share with you so give him ample warning ask for a date set a date down schedule it and then from there give him reminders don't be annoying about it but just um on thursday say hey babe just remember i need you on sunday um friday okay this is our weekend plans friday this saturday that and sunday remember i need you um and then the night before hey i'm gonna go like okay for example right now i'm driving to the grocery store this is something i need to get done and so i woke him up this morning and i was just like so i could let him sleep in we're give and take here um i said hey i'm going to the grocery store i'll be back listen for levi to wake up and then remember we have to get things done today so constant warning, there's no surprises. They were able to prepare themselves for getting your to-do list done um, and whatnot. So from there, you create a separate to-do list for them. When they're ready, when they're woken up, once he's drank his coffee or taken his Thrive, let it settle in. Don't do it, because I learned before, like even doing all those steps, I, he would wake up and then I would like, not pounce, <clears throat> but I would immediately say, okay, let's do this. Give them a minute to wake up, let them just relax, and then say, hey babe, when you're ready, like let's go over the things that we need to get done today. So then you put it on them, that they, when they're ready, let's go over the list. And usually by that point, he'll say, well, okay, what do we need to do? Um, from there, in order, make sure you have it in order. So. For example, my husband needs to go to Rural King to get a few things for our fence um, and for our pig pen. And um, he needs to go get my stuff for my oil change for my car because we're going on a road trip and that needs to be done um, before Thursday. But it does not need to be done today. I have two separate lists. I have one list that we're getting done today and another list I need to do him to do throughout the week. I'm not even telling him about that, but now, because he'll already be out in town, I'm gonna, I know that I need him to do that later on in the week. It's pointless to have him go out in town twice a week because we don't have to go, my husband doesn't go out in town. Um, his work is um, in Astatula and we live in Astatula. So the most he goes is to the Dollar General down the road. Um, and so I'm gonna create a list that best benefits him. So on his drive there, I have the to-do list in order and on the way home, I have it in order. Um, meaning, go to Rural King, pick up the supplies, blah, blah, blah. On the way home, stop by the auto port parts store, pick up all the oil change stuff needed. Then from there, when he gets home, I have it in order of how I would like for him to get the things done. Like put up the gate, build the pig pen, um, change the batteries on the smoke alarms, um, you know, a few other things that I have. Make it realistic. You know your husband. You know the amount of stuff that he can get done in a day without rushing. Like for me, I get my to-do list done no matter what. So if I'm like running around like a chicken with my head cut off, as long as I get my to-do list done, I'm happy. He is not like that. He is not gonna race around. He is not on a time restraint. Um, and I have to recognize that and give him a list that's realistic for him in his time frame to get done. And then from there, um, kind of just walk him through. So he goes to the store, good. Go to the store, I don't need to say anything to you from there. 
okay, when he gets home. All right, babe, so just to go over again, you know, this, this, and then when you get done, once you come back inside and you're showered, okay, then I need you to do the smoke alarms and then blah, 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 blah. Um, this way, all parties are aware. He's, you've, give him, you've given him time. It's all a realistic to-do list. And throughout the day, my husband gets distracted. He will start a project and then he'll start doing something else. Like, okay, for example, if I if he's supposed to be like cleaning up the front um, pasture or whatever, um, I will walk out and he will be out in the back like trimming a random tree. That's my husband. Why? I don't know. Like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be up here finishing this. He just gets like sidetracks and like, he's like a toddler who will just like wander off and start doing something else. So throughout the day, keep an eye, don't say anything. You don't want to be like nagging them. You don't want to be like obnoxious, but just like every once in a while come out and say, Hey, how's it going? Like what, um, how's it coming along? Is there anything I can do for you? Want me to bring you out a glass of sweet tea? Like be the most accommodating best wife ever while they're getting your to-do list done. All parties are happy. It's just the best way to do things. You've communicated um, and things are getting done. Now, <laughs> if here's the thing I've also had to learn. Every once in a while, sorry, there's like bad sunlight. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Um, <clears throat> be prepared to be the bad guy. Meaning, and my husband, this almost makes my husband even more mad because I am fully prepared to be the bad guy. If he starts getting, if I like catch him, not catch him, I feel like that sounds like you're catching a child like misbehaving. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like, if I walk out and he's doing something totally random that does not need to get done today and I come out and say, babe, like I need you to be doing this and he gets an attitude with me or he starts being like, I'm like, I'll do it, blah, blah, blah. I then have the total right to get mad. And I'm not going to go from like zero to a hundred. I'm going to get it. I will probably get an attitude and say, Garrett, I've asked one day of you. One day you have agreed to this day. You promised me you would get this stuff done. And now you're breaking your promise. And then it would start there. And if he still is ignoring me, this escalates and I have the right to escalate to a fight, not a full blown fight, not a full blown argument, but to have an attitude or whatever. And then usually from there, I'll like walk away. He has some time to think about it and then realizes that I'm right because I have done everything to accommodate him and his schedule. And then he'll start doing the other things that, that I need to get done for the most part. This is how it works. This is just how our relationship works. And then I'll come out and I'll very nicely say, babe, it really hurts my feelings or it really makes me upset when I ask you to do, like, I ask you to give me just a couple hours to get these things done. You know how I am. You know I like to get things done. And I feel like you're just, uh, you just don't care that I want to get these things done. So it makes me really upset when you do that. So please just get this list done for me. Um, and then answer with, I'm fully prepared to be the bad guy here. I don't care. Get mad at me, yell, scream, throw things, but just get this to-do list done and I'll be happy. And I literally say that to him all the time. And it almost makes him more mad that I'm like, okay with being the bad guy because he's not going to make me the bad guy because he knows I'm right. And he knows I gave him time. So this was a very long video, but I just, I just like walked you through my husband and I's relationship when someone OCD, um, task oriented person has to deal with someone who's not. Now the, all of these things don't just relate to a spouse. They can relate to a family member, um, a coworker, all the things, uh, an employee, whatever it is, this just method has really worked for us. And I hope it helps someone else. Um, totally random. Just thought my thoughts for the morning. Um, I hope it helps. If you have not yet liked my video, um, subscribe and I will see y'all soon. Bye.